what the, the irony in modern Catholic history is really twofold. A lot of political modernity, beginning with the French Revolution and continuing through the German Kulturkampf, the Italian Risorgimento, all sorts of other secular, highly secular movements, saw the Catholic Church as the fundamental enemy, institutional enemy, of, of human freedom and, and a democratic way of, of ordering life. And it tried to kill the church and killed a lot of people in, in, in the process. The second, but it turns out that unless you have a truly Catholic or Christian understanding of the nature of freedom, freedom is not mere willfulness, but freedom as doing the right thing for the right reason, freely choosing that as a matter of moral habit, uh, your free society is going to self-destruct. And if you don't have any moral reference points to be agreed upon, then when your freedom as willfulness comes into conflict with my freedom as willfulness, what settles the argument? You impose your power on me or I impose my power on you. That's a prescription for tyranny. So that's the first irony. Modernity needed what we now call Catholic social doctrine in order to realize its aspirations to freedom and prosperity. The second irony is that the Catholic Church and particularly the papacy, whose original reaction to modernity was analogous to Nancy Reagan's anti-drug campaign, just say no. No to modern political life, no to modern cultural and intellectual life, et cetera, et cetera. Was compelled by this confrontation with modernity in all of its forms to re-examine its own self-understanding and to rediscover itself as fundamentally an evangelical movement in history for the conversion of the world. Not as a previous ecclesiology or theology of the church had it. The church is the perfect society over against all this worldly stuff. No, the church is fundamentally the body of Christ in the world to convert the world through an encounter with the incarnate Son of God. And out of that will come a human future that is, that is worth living and that satisfies those modern aspirations to freedom and prosperity. So there's irony in both directions. And I tried to explain that in, in the book, the, the Irony of Modern Catholic History.